Hey, it's a warp point. Hey. So, you can actually warp back to the town, spend your three, buy something dope, yeah. and then warp back. So now that's a checkpoint, basically. <laughs> so this is another thing I don't like. Um, like, if you press, what's it, left trigger, mm -hmm. you can see the entire map, but there's no cursor on the entire map. So if you want to go to a warp point, you have to hit left trigger and kind of mouse all the way over there. Kind yeah, of. I gotcha. That's, that's, that's really my only complaint, though. It's like a quality of life thing. Yeah. It could be better if, like, you could freely explore on the small map. But that's on the, dope! Right? That's so cool. On the, um, on the, uh, like, the zoomed out map, if it allowed you to just, like, pick between points you had unlocked, kind of. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, um, there, there are a lot of games that do that. Like, it's just a thing that should be. Nice scrub. That frog is, like, really suspicious. I don't know why. It's not it's a lizard. Oh, yeah. Why, lizard. You, why are you judging, man? Because <laughs> there was one time I was playing, and he would wait for me to turn around before he looked at me. Like, I, I mean, I mean, not before he looked at me. He would... He would follow me when my back was to him, kind of like a witch or yeah, what's a, the, uh, the sleeping. Angel. That's it, weeping angel, like a witch, like a bitch. Hey. Uh, hey. Right. Yeah, so that. Right. that. Yeah. There, excuse me, other shops uh, further up then. Yes. Oh. Hey. In fact, there you were very close to them. Oh, I thought this. All right, so he opened a door, held open a door for a dude to go inside, and then that guy got fucking. Because he was looking at his phone. <laughs> yeah, goddamn playing Clash Royale instead of paying attention. Oh! Oh, and then somebody else came and saved their ass. Yeah, that's that's the dude from before. With yeah. the, the Nordic looking dude. Yeah. He looks so cool. He's got like a red sword and everything. He sliced him. He sliced that guy's arm off. And he... Thanks, bro! And he's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. Yeah, he was like, you're so cool! Sword he's like, shut up, I know I'm joking. cool. Shut up, baby, I know it. Yeah, so there's some cool sword moves and some cool dash moves. So I can't talk to the little baby. Yeah, that little baby doesn't know shit. Right. Ooh! See, that's already pretty cool. Man, that costs three. <gasps> Reflect, er... Reflect projectiles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you just hold X and it does it. Yeah. This is... Automatic? It's... Yeah, your your attacks just reflect projectiles now. Oh, just in general. Okay. X and A. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah. So that's that's probably the second best ability. Uh -huh. I would say that one's totally worth buying because what it does. The, I need to check the dashes. First. Yeah, I need to check the dashes. Yeah. There's um so that 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 dash. Uh, I mean that that ability. Dash that slash. You, yeah, it, you press X and then immediately afterwards press A, mm -hmm. and you like phase out of reality and dash through everything that's in front of you, de yeah. dealing two damage to everything. Two damage. Yeah. What the fuck? But but it costs a significant portion of meter, which you don't have yet because you don't have any you don't have any abilities. Mm -hmm. But as you as you unlock more abilities, you'll realize that they they all cost a meter. Gotcha. Um, but the meter refills really fast. Yeah. I think so it's like really like quick gameplay. All right. That's my favorite ability. That one right there. If you if you press A to dash at the correct rhythm, you can dash infinitely. But you go so fast that you um you sometimes can lose control, so if you miss uh, a hit, then you'll keep sliding, and sometimes mm. you can slide off ledges, as well as it, it, while you're this? in high speed. I can dash through... Projectiles, yeah. Projectiles, pretty cool. A and X does a... Yeah, okay. so the first one is you dash and then slash. Mm -hmm. No, those are the same thing. No, no, those are different. Yeah. The first this is a this is a dash slash, the other yeah. one was a slash dash. Slash dash, yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting this shit. Yeah, that one's really good, and you can practice it in yeah, in, in his room. Yeah. yeah, and you can do circles um, and laps with it. So yeah, if you if you hit dash with the proper timing and continue to hit it with proper timing, you can dash forever. And my record is one thousand thirty-seven. Yeah, so you can just. It's 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 pretty dope, and it's super useful for traversing the environment as well as in combat. You can just reposition like crazy. Yeah, you get it now. <laughs> I love how he just bumps his head. Six and a half hours later. Think of N sixty four games. 
that you like and you think I might not have played? Uh, Star Wars Episode One Pod Racing. I did play that. Shit. Actually, so funny story. I remember playing that when. Oh man. See, we're, we're, we have so many funny stories, but it's like during moments like. Yeah. Like, like cut time, kinda. Um. But um, I there was one time I went to a McDonald's when I was younger. And I don't remember exactly where the McDonald's was. I suspect it was somewhere like... Fuck, I'm really bad with areas. But it was like it was like a McDonald's... Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop for now. Okay. And we're back! Okay. Hey! Hey! Okay, we All didn't right. get it yet. Yeah. But I, it will happen later. My, my hand's getting a little bit tired. Oh, so yeah. I'm just gonna hold off for now. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can warp, though. Remember? Yeah. Oh, and look. Yeah, now that you have the multi-dash, you can just do it everywhere. Okay. But this... But this... Um, this McDonald's... Um, it was like some one one McDonald's that we went to during a uh, like a soccer game, or after not during after. I'm sorry, I'm losing yeah. my mind. And um, every, there was like this kid there that was talking shit about how good he was at pod racing and how he could beat everyone. And the now reason, this is pod racing. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason he was talking shit is because there was a setup there in the McDonald's to play the pod racing game. It was like N64. Yeah. It was like an N64 thing, and it had like little like controls that weren't like N64 controllers. And it blew, I I wish I remember where this was because it was so cool. And I showed up, and like people were, t uh, and he was like talking shit, and I was like, "Hey, you want to play?" He was like, "Oh, you you can't beat me." And, you beat him. and I beat him. I kicked his ass. I beat everyone. I showed up, and I was like, "What what was this game?" <laughs> I hustled uh, him. So at a um, uh, what was it? It used to be. It is in my hometown. It used to be called Camelot, and then it got bought out uh, by um, Camelot. Uh, fucking Boomers. Oh yeah, I had yeah. one. I would one like that, except it was called Family Fun Center, and yeah. now it's Boomers. Yeah, and so they had Ten Buck Tuesday, Ooh. where you paid ten bucks on a Tuesday, and all arcade games that didn't give out tickets were free. What? Like every single one, they they set it up and they changed the internal workings or whatever, so you didn't need to put in coins. That's so cool. And so all you did was you, you paid ten bucks, you got a wristband, and you could play all of them for all day. For ones that didn't give tickets. For ones that didn't give tickets. Mm -hmm. and all, the ones that gave tickets, you just put in the, the typical coins. Cord, that, yeah, yeah. That you would Were there any cool ones coins? that you wanted to play, but they gave out tickets, so you're like, I won't Not play it. Usually, um, like ski ball and stuff okay, like this that. This reminds maybe. me. This reminds me of a cringy story. But, but I want you but, to keep going. Yeah, and uh, so the best games were. Um, Gauntlet. Yeah, Gauntlet yes. Gauntlet was dope. Exactly, um, and that ties into my cringy story super well. And but then uh, there was a sniper game where there were two sniper rifles, and you could play co-op where you both shot targets, or you could play uh, competitive where you, uh, it was like a map, and the camera, and like you would look in through the scope to try and find where they were, and when you shot, there would be a muzzle flash, and you would try and find where the other person was hiding, because oh. it randomly placed where you were at. That's really so. Is it like was it like Screen Sheet then? Have you heard of that game? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like that. Holy shit. Yeah, Screen Sheet's like a game where all the players are invisible. Uh huh. Oh. Wow, I'm getting fucked. <laughs> yeah. So Screen Sheet's like a game where all the players are invisible, uh -huh. and you can only tell where they are by looking at their screens, which is by design, yeah. or by seeing where the flash of their guns were. And um, but yeah, my cringy story at Boomers was they actually had Gauntlet. It was like Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Uh -huh. If you remember that oh, one, the uh, well, uh, one? so the, the best game that I played was uh, the pod racing game. Where yeah. you actually saw, sat in the cockpit, it had the two, like, uh, throttles, mm -hmm. and you pushed them both forward to go, and you pulled one back to turn, Yeah. and then there's a button in the center for boost. Wow. And so what I would do is I would play it, and then if I wanted to boost, I would <laughs> <laughs> I'd hit it with my forehead. And that's that was hilarious. Just, that was a cool Wait, kid. so you would you would you would headbutt? Yes, yeah, so I would headbutt to boost. Another controller. It was fucking dope. So, but like you... it was, and then of course there was the other Star Wars game where there was a joystick and you'd play through like episode four, five, and six stuff. Mm -hmm. Where there was the Endor mission. Um, there was a another uh, like X wing thing, and then um, there was the fight with Darth Vader. Which so, I would you boost often? Also, you should, I'm not gonna backseat game no, too I, much, no, but often. you gotta hit that switch, man. But, um, so if you were boosting often, do you think you would have died? Uh, possibly. Hey, they broke the boxes. Cool. I'll be like Master Roshi or the old guy. Oh! So that's the thing. Remember the multi dash. Oh, I almost had it. Uh. Don't 
Don't forget your training. Shit! Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. I wonder if this is possible without the multi dash. I don't think it is. I think you can jump to the other one. Right across there. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh a nice go. double. Double, double trouble. Prepare for trouble, make it double. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, the, a lot of those are just like. Aesthetic. Yeah, aesthetic wall things. Yeah, but my. So, you were talking about Gauntlet. Which which Gauntlet did you play in the arcade? Was, was it like. Was it Dark Legacy? Because I remember um, at the Boomers, I was really young, and I loved playing Gauntlet Dark Legacy at home. Um. So when I saw that they had it there, I was like, oh, that's super awesome. But for some reason, we couldn't play it. I don't know why. There was something that we couldn't play. And, like, all the parents were, like, talking about what to do because we were, like, I was, like, there with other, like, families. And they were like, oh, we're going to go play mini golf or something. But I wanted to play Gauntlet Dark Legacy. So I, like, stood up on a table and was, like, acting like I was a fucking, like, preacher kind of. And I was like, let us play Gauntlet. <laughs> and they were like, just shut up, sit down. I was like, oh, okay. And I did that. And it was, like... I don't know why I don't know why I cringed back at it. Maybe it was just the fact that I was like trying to be like, ah, let us go. Yeah. It was so lame. Oh, oh whoa. Hey, it connects. Oh. Oh. Or not. Does it not connect? What the hell? Wait, can you go up or like? No, I'm trying. I'm trying to go down now. Nope. Why'd they put that in? <laughs> That's weird. And now it's so weird. Oh man, I thought that would be. I've actually never seen that. Dude, I'm just showing you things I've seen before. Yeah, for real. For reals. Yeah, this is this is gonna be good. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna get some popcorn and watch this one. That was pretty well played. Good shooting, good shooting. Yeah, see, this is where those crystals come in, and it's like, ah, oh, nice. It's like a spawn point. Yeah. No, it's like where enemies spawn. Ah. During like combat moments. Oh shit. Oh. Nah, it's so I actually struggled with this when I first played through. It's that thing in the top left, but you can't shoot it with the pistol. It requires like a, a different gun. What? Yeah. So well, it might be possible with the pistol. It's just a pain in the ass with the pistol because like, if you miss, then you gotta go and, like, charge your ammo up again, and you gotta go hit crystals and shit. I don't know. That should be too bad. Yeah. And I shot it multiple times, and it didn't work. You might need to shoot it, like, twice fast in order for it to work. Yeah, give it, give it, give it, a, give it a go. We'll see. Yeah, see, it's, like, flashing red. When I did it with... When I did it with a different gun, it then flashed green and worked. So I think, yeah, I just have to progress. Alright. Yeah, see, there it is. That's what I do all the time. Yeah, you're, you're getting it. It's, it's, it's awesome to see, like, the, the, the multi-dash peppered in now. Yeah. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh hey! <laughs> yeah, just ditch him. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, did you attack those or dash into those? Okay, because I was like, what, did you break that by dashing? Because that would have been, been crazy. Oh. 
Oh, are they moving side to side? Or up and down? Up and down. Uh, no, side to side. Wait, what? It's always on the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's always on, yeah, yeah. I thought that it was, like, Oh, I, I thought you would, like, okay, but that's what you, that's what you mean. Because okay. I was like, um, yeah, they're moving up and down. <laughs> So yeah, see, like, the double tap? I love that. Like, that feeling of just going, blah, blah, dead. Fucking Dunzo. Dunzo. So how do you turn those things off? Is there, like, a switch? Yes. The red switch on the left? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, see, like, yeah, you got you got the hang of dashing now, right? Yeah. So now, now the game, it just, I, I love when I play a game and I realize, hey, the secret, this, yeah, I love it when I play a game and I'm like, hey, the secret to this game is mobility. Yeah, and it's like skill based mobility. Yeah. Like, um, nice. Right. Off the cliff. So, yeah, that, yeah, okay. like, when I was talking to you before about Dawn of Sorrow, that's the same in Dawn of Sorrow. Oh. There's actually a wave dash in Dawn of Sorrow, so the game becomes 100% about mobility, which is crazy. Nice. Easy. Easy peasy. No! First death. Oh my god. That was brutal. Yeah, I've already cut most of this out already, even though it hasn't even begun, begun editing yet. Yeah, we're going to eventually fast travel, I mean time travel, to when, to when this is done. Dude, if fast traveling was a thing, it would be like, shit! Ah, it would be so good. I would love that. That's, that's what I want more than anything, for there to be teleporters so I don't have to drive anywhere. Like, oh, I gotta go to work! Boom! I am there. Well, I feel like Smart Cars is the first way to do that because you can just do stuff while you're being driven. That's true. It's like... It's, it's, a, it's like a poor man's uh, airplane. It's like... Personal jet. It's like teleportation that takes a while. Yeah. I never thought of it like that. That's cool. Okay, yeah, because... So you can just like bring a book or a game. Yeah, like assuming a smart car never crashes. Because I know Which, that... Which, the only crashes that have been documented have been... Someone, to, yeah, somebody else's fault. Yeah, it's hilarious too. Like, I know there's people like freak out. They're like, yeah. "Oh, there's a car crash!" But it's exactly. Like, you know how many hundreds of thousands of people crash every single it's, day? It's it's one hundred percent fear mongering. They're like, "Google smart car gets in crash. Maybe they're not safe after all." And it's like, no, somebody crashed into it. Yeah. I hate and shit also like just that. like the like statistically, even if it was the smart car's fault, like the fact of how few crashes there have been in general. Whereas you like compare that to yeah relative a human to driver. all other h cars over their lifetime yeah. like the average human driver over the average lifetime of them driving a car, the t the documented moment of first crash is probably much lower. Yeah, I mean I'm an outlier. Much faster. I've never been in yeah, I've actually never been in a car accident either. There have been a couple times where I've been close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna okay no. Um, there was one time I was actually in the car with Robert and um, we were on a tour at UCI and we were in the car with our moms. And we were driving, because, you know, uh, this is a car crash story. <laughs> and um, we were about to make a left turn. Like, you know where Culver is, like, around where um, Camino was? Yeah. Um, we are making that left. And then um, at, in the speed limit on that street is 50. And a girl just runs the red and goes right in front of our car. And Robert slams the brakes. Thank God he did. Yes. And they went right in front of us. And... Um, then we continue making the left turn. You know, like, both of our moms have screamed at this point. They're like, oh my god! And me, I'm like, ugh! Oh, I gotta just tense up. Mm. And, um... Prepare for a crash. Yeah, then Robert goes and pulls over, and then the girl comes around and, and is like... She's, like, yelling at us, like, saying that we ran a red. And we're like, no, we had a green! You ran the red. You almost killed us, you fucking idiot. I think... I remember hearing about that. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, then no. this, uh, this couple in the car next to us pulls up and just stops. But, like, they stop late. 
and so they kind of go into the crosswalk, hit him, and he's just, like, he's just walking, and just, oh, like, under, and we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> just um, out of nowhere. Yeah, and so he kind of, like, crawls out from under it, he's, and, like, hey. they, they get out of the car, and they're like, holy shit, and he's like, no, no, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> he walks Luckily, it off. <laughs> well, like, on the corner right there was a hospital. Oh. So, like, okay. but, like, he walked, and we were like, what the fuck? What if he knew? He's like, I'm gonna go to the hospital. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, like, it was, it was really concerning, but, like, I mean, that was, well, I mean, of all the it. places to get hit by a car. <laughs> in front of a hospital yeah. is pretty, like, all right. I mean, the, the next best place would be, no, no, the best a place morgue? would be in the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> you get hit by the car. The or next best place nowhere. is right outside. That's true, not getting hit by a car. Yeah, th- so the best place to not get hit by, a- I mean, the best place to get hit by a car is to not get hit by a, a car. Graveyard. Wait, really? No. <laughs> The second best place to get hit by a car is in the hospital, <laughs> and the third best place is right outside well, the hospital. Well, if you're in the hospital and you get hit by a car, there's probably, like, debris and stuff, too. Oh, yeah. So, like, <laughs> just in front, then. What if you're, like, in a hospital bed, like, sick from something else, and a car <laughs> comes through the wall and then hits you? <laughs> Fuck your couch! Yeah, then, then that wouldn't be a very good place to get hit, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Yeah. Well, All right. I've never been hit by a car, and I don't want to. I don't know why anybody would want to, but I really, I don't know, like, there's, there's, there's a couple things that, like, I'm afraid of that I have, like, nightmares about, and, like, one of them is, like, looking down the barrel of a gun and getting shot, and the other one is getting hit by a car, or getting, like, hit by something big. The only thing that really scares me in dreams is teeth stuff. Teeth stuff? Oh, like, yeah. for your own teeth? Yeah. Oh, is it because of the... Yeah. Because yeah. of the, the... That makes sense. The accidents. The, the accidents. Yeah. Because, like, I'm just scared of, like... The ocean, and then something gigantic coming out of the ocean. That is a terrifying thing, yeah. Yeah, like, Wind Waker fucked me up when I was younger because I didn't know about the giant, like, uh, whirlpool uh, octopus dude. Oh, yeah. And I didn't have bows and, uh, I didn't have arrows at the time. So you just had to succumb to your fate and die. Yeah, I, I just had, I had to watch this giant thing eat me. Shit. It was scary. The, the thing that really terrifies me about the ocean is when it's, like, deep open water yeah and just like the the possibility of looking down below you and out of the depths comes like a giant gaping exactly and then you're just like well this is how i end like the infinite expanse yeah because like we've only explored what like 10 percent of the ocean or some bullshit like that oh dude what if there is something giant i mean there are i I would be surprised if there wasn't yeah there's already like humpback whales and stuff those are giant giant squids oh that's scary Dude, have you seen the fucking shit? Giant squids. What was it? It was the the thing about the was the one that like washed up, or are you talking about something? No, it was one where like there's only one like documented video of it, and it was like a super deep sea. Uh, like, it is the most terrifying, like, Cthulhu... Uh, wait, really? Does it, like, come and, like, go on the ship and, like, grab no, it? No, 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 no. But okay. It's, uh, it's like the antenna squid or something. Is it, like, the Kraken? Kind of. Uh, look... Uh, honestly, we need to look this up right now. Like, like, go to, go to Google right now. Right now. Right now. All like, right. you need to see this shit. 